Uh, yesterday I was in Cleveland, Ohio, mm-hmm. and because um, there's other Clevelands apparently in my head. Uh, I was up in Cleveland, Ohio for a wrestling event up in Raw, and um, I was uh, wandering around the Q, um, Q Arena, Quicken Loans Arena, as it's more com- my Well, it's known as the Quicken Loan, well, the Q. I'm going to figure my brain out in a second. It's been a long day. But um, what I, I actually wanted to walk around the arena and kind of check out what they're going on, had going on there, and they had this really cool uh, social wall. And essentially, if you tag your photos with, um, you know, you add Q Arena, uh, the Q Arena, or if you um, hashtag the event, they uh, curated all the photos into this photo wall. And it it's, might be kind of hard to see, but in the little, in the middle section there is all these little tiny, tiny photos. And it's a collage right in the middle Oh, there. okay. So, so I'm, I'm seeing, so it's pulling all the pictures together into the big image, right? Yeah. And this is uh, called the Q Social Zone. And um, there are tweets that would show up about an event on both sides. So it was really neat to kind of just check those out and see what was going on. And I also was tweeting and uh, posted things on um, Instagram about the arena. And I, I didn't I didn't sh- at the arena on my Instagram, but I checked in when I, I well, I said where I was at taking the photo, added it to my map. And the arena actually liked it. So it's, it's interesting to actually see a place, pay attention to people, mm-hmm. um, adding these photos to a map so I, I thought it was really neat that they were actually into the social thing so much and uh putting fans photos up and um even twitter they they were liking and favoriting or favoriting and retweeting things that fans were posting and like i said it, it's hard not everybody kind of gets the fact that this is important and the interactions are important so it was really neat to see that they were really into it their social team is into um interacting with their fans do you think do you think it was some kind of automated thing or do you think it was human curated? Um, Instagram I'm not sure because I don't know what there is in regards to the I guess the auto likes or the auto um, cuz I, I I mean this might be Do you have any idea? Do you guys have you heard anything of that? No. I have, I have no clue. That's why I was I was interested in you know how they were doing it or when you made mention you know their their social team. Mm-hmm. Um, I want I wondered if there's there's a human behind mm-hmm. something watching and searching and, and looking for that kind of stuff, or did have they figured out a way to just auto like and auto retweet and then mm-hmm. kind of interact at that level? I, I think that the automated is a good start, mm-hmm. um, but until the arena becomes self aware and can carry on a conversation. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It has to be. I, 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 I don't know how far they can really take it in that automated manner. Right. right. But it's, it, what's nice about the automated, even if you're, we're here going, is this a person? Is this not a person? <laughs> so even if it's automated, we still, I'm still, you know, I thought this is a person. I'm going to think it's a person because it makes me feel better mm-hmm. <laughs> about their social media team. Not saying it's, you know, there's anything wrong with their social media team, obviously, or anybody who uses an auto, unless they're just depending on it pure, completely. I mean, it's I, I don't have a problem with places using an auto thing, um, as long as they're still keeping a human aspect to it on the side and not just thoroughly depending on it and just retweeting whatever fans say mm-hmm. about them. Because we all remember the pirates, right? It, what did they do? Don't you remember when the pirates first had Twitter? They retweeted anything that included the oh, no. pirates. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. I don't. I, someone has to have that out there still. But it was like pirates are the worst team ever, and pirates are retweeting it. <laughs> pirates suck at this. Blah blah blah. Let's retweet it. Well, that was always a scary thing because, like, even if you're using hashtags, like, yeah. uh, uh, I remember the, the the daily when that was that that iPad app that mm-hmm. was the news. Like, I think the New York Times was using it. Uh, was doing it. And and they had like a Twitter feed for the Super Bowl for each team, and I think the Steelers were in it that year. And 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 it looked like it was about anything could come through there. <laughs> so, I mean, it could be so dangerous if Remember, you have a live feed. I mean, that's why I've really I've really kind of experimented with: do I want a live Twitter stream on the show, mm-hmm. for instance, or a live chat room or anything like that? Because because <laughs> you know we don't have the resources to you know monitor it really. Uh, or, or we, you know, we've seen the fun things where we put up a Twitter wall at the uh, PodCamp events, for instance. Would well, you remember when the the uh, WWE network first came? You know, was kicking in, and they were retweeting anything with the word "raw." Oh, jeez! Hashtag <laughs> raw, and it was anything from raw vegetables to um, what it was, you know, not so nice things. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Hashtag raw, and yeah, you don't want to. I have a I have a running search in my uh, tweet deck for like WWE raw and all the wrestling stuff. And uh, I have to be careful because sometimes there's just straight porn in there. It just comes down my feed in my in the middle of my uh, my, my eye thing, 
and uh, I, I got a wash because I use that for, uh, for for work stuff. So <laughs> when, yeah, that's actually a good, really good. So like, I, I have the same problem on occasion. Mm-hmm. So so when you're trying to show someone like the concept of Twitter or the, those things, do you actually have like your own lists made up that you constantly go into and or stay in? Because like if, and, and maybe I just work with a bunch of people that aren't aren't as aware about social media and twitter and mm-hmm. whatnot mm-hmm. but like i i actually feel awkward because i i actually say hold on one second let me go into twitter and like i turn so they can't see my screen and then go into a list that i know or am fairly confident is going to be pretty darn clean I'm not using I'm not using a list like that. I and I, and I've done that. I've been teaching or or something, and and you know how random stuff, uh, how wide the breadth of the people I follow is, and, and and I'm involved in. So it's usually like, well, that's a weird wrestling thing that just happened on my feed. But we'll we'll start talking about it, and, and I get a good laugh, and it goes on, and hopefully it's not something else, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but but again, I'm not following the the pornography Twitter things. It's when I have that just mass search. That's going right. to come up. Yeah. And, and I don't think TweetDeck... Uh, no, TweetDeck does do the um, sensitive sensitive tweets, you know. But but I, I turn that off because I'm always worried about it being oversensitive. Because mm-hmm. um, there's a, a guy that we interviewed over on, on, on the Mayhem show. And, like, all of his stuff was, like, marked as sensitive. And it was just wrestling pictures. And uh, so so I, I just shut that off because, I like, I want to see it. Then, then I got too much. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, so, but but even like some stuff that you think should be safe, like Mark Madden has basically retweeted porn before, mm-hmm. right? You know? And that, and that's the kind of stuff oh, yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah, is where it's you're, you're, it's it's almost dumb luck and just bad timing. Right. Exactly. And that's um. I mean, and, and, and now the pictures pop up automatically. It's just like, whoop, <laughs> there it is. Um, and and it's something like he's a radio DJ. He's the drive home guy here uh, locally in Pittsburgh you should be safe right you know mm-hmm. for for terrestrial radio but of course they go i mean like and bob they're a little more loose with the language when they're on twitter as well mm-hmm. you know so mm-hmm. I, I don't know I, it's uh it, it's it's an interesting conundrum so. i hate to throw them out here but